everybody. You know, earlier this year, I read another one of my favorite books to you all. We read If I Built a Car by Chris Van Drusen. And this is a, or Van Dusen, not Drusen. This is a great book. And if you don't remember, you can go back through the videos on this channel and see us reading this story. Or you can run down to your local library and pick a, a copy of it as well. It's a fun story about a little boy who imagines the most famous car he can create. Well, I got inspired reading today's story about George wanting to go on a trip and trying to figure out how to fly. And I thought, and it reminded me of this book of how to build a car. And I thought, you know, we could make a fun car craft project to go along with our theme of transportation this week and going places like to grandma's for, for Thanksgiving. So I thought, what would be a fun thing to do? And I came up with a paper plate tissue paper car. And this is really easy for young kids to do and it doesn't take a lot of material stuff that you should have at home, like paper plates, some tissue paper, um, I have some black construction paper or some cardstock, some white paper, some yellow tissue paper, a couple of brass brads, glue, scissors, and a pencil. So that's really all you need to make this fun little tissue paper car. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is to cut up your tissue paper into squares, and we've already done that. And the other fun thing about this is it's a good way to teach shapes to little kids. You can talk about a half moon shape because you have to cut your circle paper plate in half. And then you need to cut out all these square shapes and you're still gonna have circle shapes for your tires and another half moon shape for the headlight. So once you have all your supplies ready, you just wanna have your kids take some glue and they can either use their fingers or a cotton ball or just plain put the glue on the plate. And um, because we're gonna be gluing the entire plate, I recommend working like in sections because otherwise, especially if you're using a glue stick, it will dry out too fast. If you're using um, Elmer's glue like that, it will last a little bit longer, but I still recommend using um, uh, working in sections. You're gonna wanna have them completely cover the section with the tissue paper. Now, I use green because that's what I happen to have on hand. If you want your car to be a different color, by all means, use whatever color tissue paper you have available at home. And if you don't have any tissue paper or paper plates available at home, don't worry. Come on down to the Herr Memorial Library in Mifflinburg and we have a pre-made craft kit already for you of um, these paper plates and um, some tissue paper inside of it. And the shape's already pre-cut out for you. We take all the work out of it for you. All you have to do is assemble. And you want to completely cover it. So it's okay if the tissue paper goes over the sides of the plate. We can trim that off later. You just want to make sure that you've completely covered um, the surface area. So I'm going to have to add a little bit more glue here now. And the nice thing about using a glue stick is that it doesn't um, bubble your tissue paper like this. If you're using um, regular glue like I'm using here, you got to make sure that you really push it down and smooth it down good. Otherwise, you might get some bubbles or some gaps in your um, tissue paper as it dries. And um, you might not like the look that you get from that. But on the other hand, glue is messy and fun and maybe your kids would enjoy that. So it really is like a personal preference. I know some kids prefer not to get their hands messy and that's okay too. You can overlap your, your um, tissue paper so that it lays on top of each other if you like. Um, on my sample one, we did it more where they didn't overlap, where they were right next to each other. But on this one, I'm getting a little bit messier and just letting them overlap a little. It'll give you um, some two tones to your car. That might make it look kind of cooler. I wonder if Ford or General Motors or Toyota or BMW have thought of doing that with some of their paint colors, making it nice and colorful and arrangement and different. And then if you've got little gaps in here too, that's okay. You can always come back in and cover them up with little pieces of tissue paper. You could just tear a piece in half like so, and then put another piece of glue and cover it up like so. The idea is we just wanna completely cover the area. And as you can see, we're about halfway done. This is um, a good project for helping kids learn some patience too, and um, working slowly and steadily. Um, and here we get another section, and we're almost done. Go ahead and glue that over the edge. And another section here. So like I said, you know, if you want to use, um, another idea would be to use sparkly tissue paper. 
Um, my concern about sparkly tissue paper is a lot of that stuff um, does sprinkle off and can make a big mess. If you're okay with cleaning up all that big mess, go for it. That makes a really cool looking car. I saw a picture of that um, somewhere on Pinterest when I was looking up ideas. And um, But again, I'm not a big fan of glitter because glitter makes such a mess. Um, and glitter tissue paper also makes a big mess. You might be cleaning that out of your carpet by next Christmas, not this coming Christmas. So I still recommend just the regular tissue paper. If you still want that look though, you could take glitter glue and you could use glitter glue instead of Elmer's glue also. And then the glitter, if you put thin enough or, or a white tissue paper down, the glitter will shine through that tissue paper color and you'll get that same effect. So those are all options that you have. So now when you get to the edges here, you still need to put some glue and put tissue paper down. And you can just put little edges here like so. Like I said, when it's all hardened and dry, we'll come around and we will cut the edges off. So it's okay that they um, lay flat and overlap. And we'll put a few more on here. And like so. So now your whole thing is covered and you're gonna to wanna to let this completely dry. So we're gonna set this off to one side for a moment while we work on the next part. The next part would be the headlight. To do this, we just take a half, we just punched out a um, about a one and a half inch circle of black construction paper, and then we cut it in half. And then you wanna take some yellow tissue paper, and you wanna wrap it around the end of a pencil. And with a little bit of glue in the middle here, you want to just stick your tissue paper wads on it so that they jump out kind of like a light. And you can put a couple on there. You can also double the papers up, fold them together around the pencil, so they make a big wadded one, and push that on there too. The glue will seep through and glue both pictures, or both um, squares of tissue paper on there. So now you've got a nice yellow bright light popping out of your headlight. And the next thing you're going to also do is we're going to puncture a hole in the center of your circle with your brads. If you find it difficult, if your paper is too thick or too heavy, um, this is something that a parent or caregiver should do is use a scissors to puncture a hole in the middle, being very careful. Please do not let your children do this. We don't want any fingers getting cut. And then just slide your brad right through the center. You wanna do that for both wheels. Um, if you're just poking the brads through the paper, these aren't that sharp. They won't hurt um, if they come through and poke in the fingers there. So now you've got your brads um, through the wheels. So we'll go back to our car. And then the next step we're gonna do is you're going to put a hole through your um, car. So you kinda wanna figure out where you want your wheels to go, where you want them placed at. And then you wanna come just above that and puncture your hole through your paper plate. This probably will require a parent or caregiver to assist with because these paper plates can be a little bit tougher, especially with the glue on them. They're gonna be a little bit harder to get through and we don't want anybody getting hurt again. So once you've got your holes punctured through, then you can just slide your tire through and fold your brads over to secure. Don't fold them too tightly or your wheel won't spin, see? And we'll do that on this side also. And then you can sing the Wheels on the Bus song because everybody loves Wheels on the Bus. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna add here is going to be our square windows and then our headlight. So again, you just wanna put a little bit of glue on the back of your square windows and put them just above the wheels of your car. One there and one there. And we can do our finishing touch of our headlight then. Put glue on the back of this and glue right to the car here. Then we can come with our scissors and we can trim off the edges of our tissue paper. Oops, that one came off with me, it wasn't quite dry yet. So you might wanna wait till it's completely dry so you don't cut it off with you. And then all the way on the edge there. And we'll take a little bit of our tissue paper here. We'll put this back on like so. And there you have your car. Isn't that easy to make? 
really cute, fun to make, and you can hang them up. And you guys can talk about how much fun it is to go on a long road trip, to go to grandma's for Thanksgiving or grandpa's for Thanksgiving or to friends for Thanksgiving, um, wherever you intend to go. I hope you guys all enjoyed this quick and easy craft today. Have a good day. Bye.